A user of a picture collection website shared a freaky find at his grandparents' house, more specifically in their shed, which hadn't been opened for over 10 years. He made the discovery during efforts to tidy up the entire area and remove junk. The house was built by the man's grandfather, but he says no one was ever made aware of this trap door. He took some pictures of the view from inside the hatch, and in one angle looking straight down, there appears to be an old sofa sitting in the room. He also managed to spot a passageway from the hatch, which connects to the barn next to the shed through another hidden entrance behind unused shelving. He said he was going to try to go into the creepy room, but backed out when he thought he heard a whispering noise coming from inside. I've already said that most secret rooms belong to either spy novels or superhero movies, but I've got to be honest with you, this one is straight out of a horror movie. I mean, this couple and their kid moved into a 5 bedroom, 2 bathroom house for what they thought was a great price, but they found out pretty quickly that it was cheap for a reason. Basically, they were exploring their new home when they realized that one piece of furniture had been left behind, a bookcase. Now I'm sure anyone who has ever read a mystery story knows exactly what I'm going to say, but just in case you haven't figured it out, there was a secret passage behind the bookcase. Well, I say passage, it was actually more like a stone corridor, and the couple followed it all the way to a secret room. Only the room didn't contain anything as cool as treasure or spy gadgets. It just held a gross looking bed and a wall completely taken over by black mold. There was also a note from a previous owner, which ended up explaining everything. The story goes that the last owner had discovered the mold when it made his own daughter so sick that she couldn't breathe. He wasn't rich enough to just get a new mortgage, and he didn't have the time to take the matter to court, so he just stopped paying the mortgage and ran. I don't know whether to be mad at the man for abandoning the house without telling anyone, or glad that he at least warned the new owners about the mold. Either way, the house technically does have a secret lair, even if it's one that you'd be totally crazy to want to own. For those secret passages, hidden wires, and matches, this Denver home booby trap, perhaps by a local mobster, the homeowner discovering these little secrets during a very simple home remodeling project. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen takes us inside a Denver crime family's secret hideaway. On the outside, it may look like any other historic home in this North Denver neighborhood. This is the basement. But inside, wow, the secrets of a gangster's paradise. Here goes nothing. Are finally revealed. There was a gangsters who needed a hideaway. Yeah, I had to redo some foundation footers on the back half of the house. And before long, Feeney found that too in the cellar. It's like they almost tried to stucco over the entrance to it. And we started chiseling away and, and found the little seam. The bolted door finally open leads to a hidden chamber, empty now, but once filled with secrets. Okay, so I'm inside this room where Denver's most notorious crime family kept things hidden that they didn't want to be found. And I, what I see are two concrete walls here. The house is back this way. And then there's a dirt wall here where Matt, the homeowner, thinks at one point there may have been a tunnel. Underground Railway. Alexandra Poulos of Lansdowne, Pennsylvania, always had a feeling that her house had a secret room in it since her family bought it in 1974. But it was only in 2016 that she found out the truth. She took the opportunity of repair works in the basement to ask the contractor to dig beneath the lower level to see if there was anything hidden beneath. To everyone's surprise, she had been right all along. They found a secret room that was 14 feet deep, 8 feet wide, and 15 feet long. It's believed that this room was used by the Underground Railway, which helped slaves escape from their southern masters. Similar rooms have been found in other nearby properties, and because of the necessity to keep them so well hidden, it's thought that there could be many more still to be discovered. Lost Tapes When Reddit user Umberjack posted in forums that he found a hidden crawl space in his attic leading to a secret room, the internet braced itself for a huge frustration, and with good reason. In the past few years, when people find locked saves or rooms, they seem to never get into them, or they deliver a massive letdown when they finally open it. Not in this case, though. At first, it would seem to be just nothing at all. As he entered the small door leading into the crawl space, it led to an area where a water heater could be kept, but it kept going. There was a locked back door at the back of the room, and when he opened it, he was surprised by what he found. 
The room was covered in soundproof boards and white tarps. On the floor, he found a safe, a briefcase, and a mysterious wooden platform about the size of a twin bed. The briefcase contained some old valuables, but the safe was an entirely different story. He found six different VHS seat tapes inside of the safe, which he turned over to the police, and it was never released what mysteries those tapes held. 